All right, to my friends here in school and to my friends all around the world, I just want to say hello and welcome to the video series on note values and rhythms and theory. What I hope to create is a sequential step-by-step -step video series that will teach you how to master reading rhythms and in combination with reading notes you're going to be on your way to being a better musician. So let's get started. I'm going to start with three, three uh, note values today. The first we're going to talk about is going to be the quarter note, the quarter note. Think of the quarter note as your heartbeat, okay? And so if you are, if you're keeping a beat, you know, the music that you hear, most all of it has a beat that you can find. Some music has a fast pace beat, some music has a slow pace beat, okay? They call that the tempo, right? That beat that you feel, that's called the tempo of the music. So, for example, if we take a song like Twinkle Twinkle and I sang the beginning, what you would hear would be those quarter notes, like my words lining up with every single pulse, like twinkle, twinkle, little, right? You feel every note with every pulse. So that's a quarter note is one beat. One quarter note is one beat. I think that's a pretty easy connection right there. Then you have a half note, and you can think of the half note as lasting longer, or specifically a total of two beats. When you get to twinkle, twinkle, little star, that star has two beats, and you can hear it and you can see it. Watch. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how? So you notice that when I said star, I actually snapped my finger twice. So there were two pulses inside of that star, that part of the song. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how? Okay? And then lastly, we have eighth notes. The eighth notes by themselves have this cute little tail, and you can see it right down there where it says eighth note. Let me underline that. Let me underline half note because we talked about it. They have a cute little tail, and beginners, most of the time, you will see them connected like this. So you see the eighth note connected to another eighth note like that. They're still eighth notes. They're no different. The only thing is that they have a little connector across them that links them. But they, they, they are worth the same amount of time. So what is that time? Well, you have a quarter note that's one beat. If you could take that quarter note and chop it in half, you have two eighth notes. So one quarter note is one beat. Two eighth notes is one beat. So a good example of that is if I sang Mary Had a Little Lamb, you will hear me say two of the words for each of the beats, like Mary had a little lamb. If I sang the notes like ta 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 ta, you can hear there are two notes for every beat. Unlike Twinkle Twinkle, where you had one note for every beat. Ta, 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 right? One note per beat. Mary had a little lamb. Two notes per beat. Ta, 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 right? And so that's a really good way to think of it. There's two eighth notes inside of one beat, okay? So we're going to write the eighth note is equal to half a beat. If you didn't know, there's math in music. Now you do. So this is where we are. I'm going to skip the whole note right now. The whole note is worth four, but we're going to add it into our practice later. The whole note is worth four, so we'll, we'll, we'll leave that at that. But I want to focus on the half note, the quarter note, and the eighth note. And we have one more to add, okay? We have one more to add. Sometimes in music you have these little symbols that look like this. They look like little squiggles. 
and those are rests. So if I were playing violin or viola, sometimes there is silence in music. Okay, it's important, an important part of the music. So the silence has to be written down some way. This silence here is called a quarter rest, a quarter rest. It is also equal to one beat. So instead of saying ta, 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 I would have empty sound, right? Empty space, no, no, no sound. If I play ta, da, da, if I stop and I count three, I've done three rests. I hope that makes sense. So with this now, armed with this knowledge, okay? Armed with this knowledge, then now we go to one of my very favorite tools. It's a website called Sight Reading Factory. And, I, and for the record, I have not been paid by the Sight Reading Factory to say any of this. And I highly doubt any of them at Sight Reading Factory will see it. But this is an amazing tool. Imagine it's like an algorithm that based on what you want, you can read different uh, rhythms, you can read different uh, variations of notes, you can practice your sight reading skills, and it's an amazing tool for elementary school, for middle school, and for high school. So if you're not familiar, check them out. They are awesome. So what I've done here is I've created a totally random rhythm that we're going to read together. And we're going to do a couple, and then we'll be done. So, we have quarter notes. If we see the quarter note, let's just say ta, okay? If you see a rest, let's just say sh. Since you don't have an instrument, we'll use our voice. Sh, that'll be our silence. And then for the eighth notes that are right here, we're going to say ta te, okay? So ta or sh or ta te. If you see a half note, because remember, it lasts longer. Let's say ta. Hold it for two beats. So let's go through it. Let's go through it. And I believe you're going to do a great job. So let's change my color to blue. Blue is awesome. There we go. Fantastic. Let's close this. We'll move it out of the way. Close. There it goes. Terrific. Now, from the very beginning, okay, from the very beginning, I'm going to help you track it with markings on the page. Do not be confused by them. You want your eyes on the notes. But if you see me doing this, ta, 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 shh, I'm only marking the board to help a student know where we are. It's kind of like in karaoke, it's kind of like in karaoke, or on songs where you see the little ball jumping from song to song. It's kind of like that. So let's put our eyes on the music and let's see if we can get through the whole thing. Here we go. Two, ready, and ta, 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 sh, sh, ta, te, ta, 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 te, ta, 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 te, ta, Ta ta te ta ta te ta 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 sh. Okay, so I'm sure that you guys did a great job with that. We're going to do another one, okay? Another one. That's the sound of my hand wiping the board. Okay, let's do another one. Same rhythms, all mixed up. Let's see what happens. Two. Ready and go. Ta, 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 te, ta, 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 te, ta, ta, sh, ta, 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 te, ta, ta, sh, ta, 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 te, ta, ta, te, ta, ta, sh. Okay, and we're going to do one last one. Here we go. Erasing all of our markings. Moving on. Two, ready, and. Ta, 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 te, ta, 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 te, ta, 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 sh, ta, 
ta sh ta te ta ta sh ta 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 te ta sh now if you go back if you go back to the very first one we've done three and now my snap you join me with clapping the the beat right you could say you could tie the rhythm while keeping the beat that's harder to do and I would encourage you to try it if you can't do that yet then you can just follow and ta along on the next video I think we might do like four or five let me know what you guys think but I think I'll do a couple just to get you practice and then we'll add one note value at a time and we'll mix it up gradually make it harder so with that being said give me your comments let me know what you understood let me know what you didn't understand let me know what you would like to see I appreciate you watching and remember to subscribe if you haven't done that and I will see you guys next time bye